what you see drawn is a problem in rotational equilibrium that we began to consider at the end of the last lecture. In problems of rotational equilibrium, we're looking to apply the formula that the sum of all torques must be equal to zero. This is similar to the formula for equilibrium of forces, where we have that the sum of all forces is equal to zero. As in any problem, we need to define our axis system before we start. So let's just show that we're working in a normal axis system. I'm going to do this problem in two different ways. We can simplify the problem by a sensible choice of origin. So our first choice is to let the origin be at point A. A is the point at which the fulcrum acts, and the fulcrum supplies a force of R newtons, that's a reactive force which counteracts the two weights of 500 newtons, a distance d away from the fulcrum, and a weight of 200 newtons, a distance of 2 meters from the fulcrum. By taking the origin at the point A, we have removed the torque at A because the force R is multiplied by a distance 0. So, writing down the sum of torques with the origin at A, we have, and allowing for the signs of all quantities, we have minus d meters times minus 500 newtons plus 0 meters times r newtons plus 2 meters times minus 200 newtons. So expanding that we have minus d meters times minus 500 gives us plus. We can ignore this term completely and we have minus 2 times 200 is minus 400 newton meters. That is equal to zero. Adding 400 newton meters to both sides, we have d meters times 500 newtons equals 400 newton meters. And then dividing both sides by 500 newtons, leaves us with d meters is equal to 4 divided by 5, which is 0 0.8 meters. So we have been able to calculate d meters without ever worrying about what the force of r newtons was. Okay, so just to be perverse and to show that it doesn't matter what the choice of origin is, as long as we know what we're doing, I'm now going to redo this problem. And instead of using the origin at point A, which is the sensible choice to minimize work, we will use the origin at point B, which is one meter to the right of the whole uh, kit and caboodle. So taking origin at point B. Well, what's that going to do to us? First of all, all our distances are now going to be negative because they're all to the left of the origin. And we're going to need to know the magnitude of R because R will be multiplied by a distance of minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 meters in the torque equation. 
we can find R using the sum of forces equation. So using the sum of forces, we have R newtons, which is positive minus 500 newtons minus 200 newtons must be equal to zero. So we have R newtons is equal to 700 newtons. Okay, so we know the magnitude of R and therefore we can place this directly into our torque equation. So now applying the equation for sum of torques, we, starting from the leftmost torque, we have minus 1, minus 3, plus d, so the distance is minus 3 plus d meters times minus 500 newtons. Then we have to take into account r, so that's our first torque. So to this we will add the second torque. The second torque is minus 3 meters times r newtons, which is 700 newtons. And the third torque is minus 1 meter times minus 200 newtons. So expanding that, we have 0 equals minus 3 times minus 500 is plus 1500 newton meters minus d times minus 500 is plus 500 newtons times d meters. Minus 3 times 700 is minus 2100 newton meters, and minus 1 times minus 200 is plus 200 newton meters. So collecting terms together we have minus 2100 plus 200 is minus 19 plus 15 is minus 400 newton meters so we have a total of minus 400 newton meters that's that term and that term and that term taken into account so minus 400 newton meters plus 500 newtons times d meters equals zero. So adding 400 newton meters to both sides, we have 500 newtons times d meters equals 400 newton meters. Dividing both sides by 500 newtons, then we have d meters is equal to 400 newton meters divided by 500 newtons, which is equal to 0 0.8 meters as before. So it doesn't matter which origin we choose except that by choosing a good origin we make the work easier for ourselves. And being nice to your marker, let's put a box around that and we're done.